Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm gonna uh, show you really simply how we, uh, how I use Houdini um, uh, to create a point cloud for instancing object and reproduce the uh, Moana Island uh, from the dataset from uh, Disney uh, that been released in, uh, I guess, in the start of July and uh, how I was able to produce my version in August. Uh, thank you so much uh, to Jello who helped me a lot on this part and uh, he caught the major part of the instance and things them. So thank you so much for, thank you so much to him. Um, so really simply, um, this is my code and uh, a Jello and I code. Uh, we're simply with this function that parse uh, all the system of JSON and uh, with the system I've got some um, uh, some filtering uh, to be able to know uh, which was uh, the parent of if I need to reproduce it and when in the most interesting part is this one is the X function that's the one that creates a point so uh, this one is rubbing a couple of metrics already uh, the four four metrics from the JSON and uh, that's be able to pick uh, an ID and uh, uh, create a quaternion. So in this part, it transforms the matrix into a quaternion, baking in an orient system that it's baked on the point in the attribute orient. I've got the sale with extract also, and um, the scale right there is extract from the matrix. Uh, and I'm uh, baking an attribute ID uh, that's called ID with a capital I. Uh, from an ID that I read um, from a file uh, that is uh, the ID JSON right there. So very simply, I got the path of the object and got the uh, uh, object ID uh, that I'm gonna make into the attribute. So um, um, I copy and paste the uh, this code into the Houdini Python node um, and uh, I cache the alambic uh, into and. ABC, uh, well, uh, AKG point cloud, sorry, into an ABC, and I was able to use that. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. Um, so I've got the uh, this simple one, the, the big one, the big one that that use with uh, the six millions of uh, objects are uh, near um, a gigabyte and a half. Uh, so this one is very simple. That's for so the, for just for the demonstration. Um, I'm gonna reboot Garea. I'm gonna open a new instance of Garea to be clear. Okay, let's go. So I'm gonna drag and drop the uh, point cloud. Uh, so right there. I don't wanna use uh, frame sequence. I don't wanna prefix it. Uh, that's it. So that's called the uh, Disney uh, uh, point cloud. And um, that's my uh, point cloud right there. Um, I'm gonna uh, create an. Uh, I'm gonna uh, create a light, and I'm gonna show you a trick, guys. Uh, how you can be able to uh, read some information where you are in in the fog, and you don't have that much because you're not the one uh, that produce the. Um, you're not the one that produce point cloud. So I go to preferences, rendering, log and diagnostic. Uh, going to diagnostic, click a diagnostic shape. I'm gonna oppose the console with Alt two, and I'm gonna render frame and as you can see Gary I gave me a really good feedback about the data I got in the shape uh, I've got a uh, position I've got uh, more information I've got the scale I've got the ID and I've got the orient information and uh, that's really of me that gave me uh, the information that the ID was right was wrote with a capital I and a T and um, right there uh, you got the minimum uh, that is uh, 158 and the maximum that uh, 178 um, no, okay, um, so I'm gonna drag and drop the uh, point cloud. I'm gonna instancing the object. I'm gonna um, create a new node and I'm gonna instancing uh, an object that is called Pendennis. That's from the uh, Moana set. Uh, or there, that's it. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna drag and drop it and uh, inside, inside selection. So I'm gonna import it into this selection. Um, I'm gonna create, uh, I'm gonna clean um, my uh, object because I've got a shitload of camera. Uh, that was not the, um, the uh, objective. So really simply, I'm gonna create a pass node uh, that's gonna be a call front um, and I'm gonna connect it right there and I'm gonna create an attribute. And I'm gonna hide this attribute uh, right there, and that's not good because uh, okay. So I've got this one. I've got front. I need 
side one I guess that's is gonna be called uh, tap sorry for this part you clean but that was a good uh, a good way to show how we can be able to use attribute node and uh, be able to override uh, shape information and uh, the press one I guess that's perhaps yeah pass yep okay that's clean that's clean um, if I want to go totally nuts um, I'm gonna able to uh, create this node that I'm gonna call a uh, camera clean I'm gonna copy and pass all the stuff okay drag and drop connecting here exposing the entrance okay and voila okay um, I'm gonna drag and drop the pendennis right there and uh, I'm gonna merge the instancing. So I'm gonna connect the Disney point cloud. That's gonna be my scalp. I'm gonna connecting the pendennis object, and I'm gonna try to render it. Um, let's have a look. Okay, it worked. It instance uh, my shape on all the points I've got. That's not really what I want. I only want uh, to instancing on the certain object ID. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab the pendennis right there. I'm gonna create a dynamic attribute and I'm gonna call that object ID and I'm gonna uh, use the ID 178 because I know that's this ID from the object ID that I've got right there okay so that's a 178 that's it and I'm gonna go to the uh, procedurals I'm gonna scalp and I say okay the ID information is stored into the ID attribute and as you can see I can be able to run the dependence on only the 178 point cloud that uh, that are only on the uh, point that that flag with the 178 uh, object ID um, I'm gonna uh, add the the point cloud so it's gonna be simpler okay um, I'm gonna grab a material override and I'm gonna use the information for the point cloud about the scale of the object I'm gonna grab lens I'm gonna create a lens material override, overall uh, a lens material override and I'm gonna drag and drop lens create a super shader I'm gonna create a primitive attribute and um, on this attribute I'm gonna read the scale uh, channel uh, because I know that is called scale right there scale so that's why I use this one and you're gonna transmit the length the scale of the object directly to the length of the instance it's gonna change the shape of the object and voila that's it thank you so much for watching this video uh, I hope you help you a lot for create really huge uh, uh, data sets and uh, really big scene bye